Good evening. I'm on the third meditation. This is the 14th of May, 2021. I'm not behind with the readings today. Daily Meditations with St. Augustine. And the 14th of May title, I'll tell you in a moment, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The title is Communion with the Church. Are you in communion with that church which is spread through all the nations beginning from Jerusalem? If you are in communion with it, then you are there. You are in the vine. You have not been cut off. If you see is the vine which has grown and filled the whole wide world. The body of Christ, the church of Christ, whose head is in heaven. The prayer for today, O body of Christ, O holy church, let all your bones cry, Lord, who is like you? Amen. I think that stands alone. I've got no comments to make on that. It's wonderful. We're all part of the vine, aren't we? So I'm going to read from my very ancient prayer book. Um, there's some beautiful prayers. I'll just do the few that I like that are in front of me. The first one is for unselfish love. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow peace. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me give light. Where there is sadness, let me give joy. Where there is darkness, let me give light. O Divine Master, grant that I may not try to be comforted, but to comfort, not try to be understood, but to understand, not try to be loved, but to love, because it is in giving that we receive. It is in forgiving that we are forgiven, and it is in dying that we are born into eternal life. Amen. For love, Lord, you are all merciful. Take away my sins from me and give to my soul the graces of your Holy Spirit. Take away this heart of stone from me and give me a heart of flesh and blood a heart to love and adore you, a heart which will delight in you, love you and please you for the sake of Christ. Amen. The next one is called For Love Towards Others. Keep me, O God, from smallness of mind. Let me be big in thought, 
in word and in action. Let me be finished forever with fault finding and self love. May I put away all pretending and meet everyone face to face without self pity or deceit. May I never be hasty in judging and may I always be generous. Let me take time for all things. Make me grow calm, peaceful and gentle. Teach me to put into action my good desires. Teach me to be straightforward and fearless. Grant that I may realize that it is the little things of life that make difficulties and divisions and that in the big things of life we are one. And O oh Lord God, do not let me forget to be kind. My God, make us all of one mind in the truth and of one heart in love. Amen. These prayers are so beautiful that you just want to keep saying them. They are the words that in some of these old prayer books are just beautiful. And the final one for today, see, uh, there's one more after this that is rather good. This is short. Teach me to be generous. Dearest Jesus, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to think of wounds. To work and look for no reward except that of knowing that I am doing your holy will. Now this will be the final one because it's quite long. For meekness and gentleness, which has never been in any of my gifts, I'm afraid, <laughs> especially when I was growing up, tomboy. Teach me, my Lord, to be sweet and gentle in all the actions of my life, in disappointments, in the thoughtlessness of others, in the ins insincerity of those I trusted. Let me forget myself, that I may enjoy the happiness of others let me always hide my little pains and heartaches that I may be the only one to suffer from them. Teach me to profit from the suffering that comes across my path. Let me so use it that it may soften me, not harden me that it may make me patient, not angry, that it may make me willing to forgive, not bitter or proud. May no one be less good for having come within my influence. May no one be less pure, less true, less kind for having travelled with me on our journey towards eternal life. As I go from one work to another, let me whisper a word of love to you. Let me live my life in the supernatural, full of power for good and strong in my purpose of sanctity. Amen. Yes, that was long enough for you today. Sorry to go.
go on, but some of those prayers are just really so good. God bless you all, and thank you so much for listening. If you need healing, I'm praying for your healing. I'm praying for everyone who listens and listens and watches, and and gives wonderful comments, and it's much appreciated. God bless you, and thank you for that. And I'm praying for your healing and all your needs, sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I shall be praying live on Janet Wormsey Heron channel, not Jan Jan Heron. I've got two channels because I got barred once. <laughs> but I, I, this is the one. They go on that anyway, whether I put them. I don't put them there. They just appear there. Um, must be YouTube. So I'll be at 9 o'clock doing a novena. It's beginning tonight for the Holy Spirit and a rosary today for um, Sorrowful Mysteries for the war in, it is war, in Gaza and Israel for a ceasefire. I'm praying for a ceasefire and then they can sort out their political solutions after because innocent children and civilians are dying unnecessarily and it's fearful and frightening and my goddaughter's mother's there and uh, they're my girls now they've been here a very long time and then i'm their mum now and i'm their nan to their children sad so i'm very sort of upset for them because they're very down you know a bomb could kill their mother and I hope I don't have to sit here and tell you that, that she's died in her bomb. And she's much, probably older than me because she's got 12 children. And some of them are quite, uh, they're much older than the two girls that are here. They've got wives and children and they all work. They're all very industrious. What, what the university educated, the two girls here are. Master's degree. Clever girls and their brothers and other sisters likewise. It's terrible, so, so that's what I'm praying for. I'm not blaming anyone for, for what is happening. It's history. It, it just needs to stop. That's what I, and if you can't join me in prayer on the, on the YouTube, don't worry, you can pray where you are and your prayers will join and go up to heaven from whatever you're doing, even if you come to bed. <laughs> All right, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Bye.